This client really specializes in the knuckle industry. Uh, I think it composes about 90% of their business. So they actually cast uh, the knuckles uh, throughout the system and, and then go through the machining process, on through the assembly process, and then out to the door to the end user. We are ultimately trying to accomplish a uh, complete assembled part with three bushings and one ball joint and less than a three minute cycle time. The engineer on this particular project uh, started with a, a pretty much a blank slate for the most part. Um, he, he designed from scratch. We had a general concept to go off of. We basically come up with an idea of, of four different nests holding a right hand, left hand part and uh, the press station in each one of those nests. The operator basically starts with a machine knuckle that has nothing pressed in it. Uh, there's three, three bushings that go through, stations one, two, and three. Uh, they sequence a right-handed part or a left-handed part, uh, one at a time. The operator would then interface one station at a time. Uh, as they push a knuckle, or as they push the bushing in the knuckle, they would remove the part, index to the next station, reclamp the part, index to the next station, all throughout the four stations. Uh, after the fourth press, the machine holds the part, uh, does a tail suspend stamp with the Julian date code, and then the operator act. From that point, the, the part's complete and the operator passes it on to a finished assembly. This particular machine is set for a, a semi-automated semi cell, which uh, means it's not of a high demand. Uh, there's a three minute cycle time. We worked on other cells for this customer that are fully automated, that are completely uh, robot generated that run a lot uh, faster cycle time and ultimately get a lot more parts out the door. So basically we suited this to fit the, the quantities of, of the specific part. We also built a lot of fully automated robotic cells. This customer here also has several of them as well where it is a full production line where it will come out of another machine, robot will bring it off of a in-feed conveyor. They will do thread detection, uh, press the components as is on this machine. Uh, they do a, a pin stamping and the robots will also put the uh, knuckle onto an exit conveyor. This is all done in less than 50 seconds where this machine here we have a three minute cycle time. Once we get uh, a machine to the assembly stage and we have the machine complete, uh, there's a lot of debug and a controls issues that you have to work out. The project engineer uh, creates a timeline that we maintain throughout the course of the project and hitting the milestones is a big thing that we do here at A House to make sure that the customer receives their machine on time. We have X amount of weeks to get the machine debugged. We have a internal runoff. It has to meet all of our requirements before we, before we ever have the customer come in and A House's requirements are always more than what the customer ever asked for. The most important outcome that A House will achieve when this machine is delivered is, is it is meeting the scope of the client. Our customer is getting what they've asked for and more, and we know that when this thing is running 24 7, they will be able to meet their requirements that they need to meet for their customers. One thing that A House does provide is we always provide at least a one year warranty on all of our machines. So once we build this machine and it is signed off by the customer at our facility and it is installed by our personnel at their facility, signed off by them at their facility and ran off, we make sure that we take care of our product for at least one year after it's at their facility.